this is a ceremony for um, honoring law enforcement and expe more specifically the fallen officers. Um, tonight. This particular one's for the four officers that were actually killed in Davis County. There are 17 plaques that are on the wall as you come in your office. This is a good way to get it out there. Of those 17, two are being honored here today. To show what these guys sacrificed. And Lieutenant Tom Rittberg and my father were very close friends. And we want to be able so to celebrate to and show that everybody appreciates what they're doing, the sacrifices that, them, that they are being, being made by them, that their families are making. Um, and we want to let them know that we appreciate them and their families for everything they do. His watch came to an end as he was conducting a test flight of a helicopter not far from where we are here right now. I remember that day very well. My father, Thomas Redberg, who was a lieutenant for the Utah Highway Patrol, crashed in Woods Cross after doing a maintenance auto rotation. They don't see the actual family or hear stories or memories or anything. It's just a name on a wall. I was working as a sergeant over dispatch in Vernal when I got the message to respond to dispatch and call my mom. With Talk to people and tell them about your dad, but, but until somebody actually does in a memorial so that you can, you know, see. And then, and then hear the stories of the other officers too. All officers chose to serve others. To me, it feels like, even though it's been 23 years, it always feels like yesterday. I have a, a wife and two daughters and a son, and I often... I hope they just see that police officers are humans. We want to make sure that their families know that we remember them, that their fellow brother and sisters in law enforcement know that we remember them and that we honor them and we really respect the sacrifices that were made by both them and their families. A very solemn occasion because you think about here in Davis County, um, we've had four officers who have paid that ultimate sacrifice. We don't ever want to forget those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in their service. But we don't forget. And we, we always will remember and we will always love and appreciate the sacrifices that have been made.